Welcome. Some of you may have heard that the mobile networks are to retire their 2G and 3G networks. This is true. All four mobile network operators have committed to the UK government to retire their 2G and 3G networks by 2033 at the latest. This will also apply to all other UK mobile networks. Now, 3G will be switched off first, with some operators having already started this process. And we expect all providers will have completed switching off 3G by 2025. 2G will be switched off in the longer term. Now, this is being done to enhance your mobile signal and to provide improved services. So why is this happening? Well, mobile networks are doing this to reuse the radio frequencies currently being used by 2G and 3G technologies and to replace them with faster, more reliable and more energy efficient 4G and 5G technologies. But did you know that 5G is 10 times more energy efficient than 3G? Not to mention being much faster, more reliable and secure. So has this been done before? Well, yes, the reusing of radio frequencies is something that has been done many times before. Many of you will have experienced the digital switchover for television, which went from analog to digital. The switchover provided more capacity in the form of more channels and better reception compared to the older analog services. This is similar to what will happen for mobile services. So is this happening only in the UK? Well, no, this is happening across the world. In fact, countries like the United States, Germany and Italy have already switched off their 3G networks. So what are the benefits? Well, by freeing up the radio frequencies being used by 2G and 3G services, the network operators will be able to use that spectrum with faster and more reliable 4G and 5G services. This will allow the network operators to provide much better services while also future-proofing our mobile networks by ensuring that they have the capacity to meet significantly growing demand for connectivity. And did you know that in the UK, there are already 95 million mobile subscriptions? And by 2030, we expect across the world, there will be 50 billion connected devices. In fact, the average mobile user in the UK already uses eight gigabytes of data each month. And on one network, the average user is already using 25 gigabytes of data per month. What if I have a 3G only mobile phone? Well, firstly, 3G usage is declining dramatically. Ofcom, the telecoms regulator reports that it now accounts for less than 3% of all mobile data traffic and is decreasing 44% every year. But if you do have a 3G phone, don't worry, all operators have in place plans to support their customers through the switch off. So if you think you have a device that may not work when 3G is retired, please contact your provider to discuss your options. In today's society, the demand for data is increasing rapidly. To ensure that our mobile networks are able to provide the capacity and range of services we demand, it is important that networks are updated. That is why the retirement of older technologies is important so that we can provide the best services to customers across the country who are relying on mobile connectivity more than ever before.